Choose to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt ring. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. To be joined by Sky Nicholson. Sky, I have to start on a bit of a solemn note here because the first time I've spoke to you, actually was gonna, I wasn't too sure I was gonna come here, so I was gonna speak to you on Zoom before the fight. So we got to the point that we were here. Um, really, really good win for you, the best in your career, but it's shadowed by what happened. And whenever that happened, I could see your reaction in the ring. You were like, oh, like I could, I'm, I think you said like someone had a heart attack and then it was all a bit crazy. Is it hard for you to enjoy that win because of what happened? Yeah, definitely. Um, I. I had no idea what had gone on um, until after the fact, obviously. Um, but there was a bit of commotion after we'd gone and seen each other's corner at the end of the fight. And um, I'd assumed someone had fainted. It was really hot. Um, and then obviously it started coming back that it looked like it had been a heart attack and um, things got very serious very quickly. So it was hard to kind of celebrate the win or be excited about the win when obviously um, there were much bigger things going on at the same time. Um, yeah, it, it's unfortunate because I, I was happy with my performance and um, I felt like I, I got to show glimpses of what I have been working on and um, yeah, I didn't really feel it was the, the right, not right thing, I just didn't feel right to celebrate it at all. Like, um, yeah, it just, it was, a, it was a hard one, a weird one to sit with um, after it had all been said and done so yeah. I think you need to be commended for how you handled that because as a young pro it must be very hard with a situation like that unfolding before your eyes but in the the aftermath of it I spoke to Eddie on an interview yesterday and he said that Matchroom want to do something for Sabrina and her family do you echo those thoughts oh 100% um for me like my like I've I've not stopped thinking about her um the first few nights I honestly like cried myself to sleep like just thinking about what she was going through. Um, losing in boxing is the worst, um, but to to lose and then have your whole world change like that, like I just, yeah, I really overthought a lot of what she was going through and it was really hard for me to deal with. And um, yeah, I, I've reached out to her. We've, we've sent a couple of messages back and forth in translate, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I, I want to help in any way I can as well, 100%. Um, I couldn't imagine what she's going through and um, I just, I hope she's got like really good support around her and, and, and find strength to get through this, like this tragedy. What's next for Sky Nicholson? You've put the, the Olympic thing to bed, that's over and done with now. Is it Amanda Serrano next? Is that what you're going to wait on? You're going to be in a mandatory position now, right? Well, yeah, that's the plan. Um, I want to get out one more time before the end of this year, uh, so we'll probably defend the interim because she's uh, Serrano's boxing in October, um, so that's not likely to happen before the end of the year. So we'll probably try and get out one more time. I'd really like um, a good, decent opponent uh, to really show I am a, a real contender going into the Serrano fight. Um, I like the idea of Anina Menka, uh, Lucy Wildheart, um, Sarah Mafood. One of those, uh, one of those girls that are pretty much all that's left that's before the top, um, the top girl, uh, which is obviously Serrano. So, um, yeah, I want to get out one more time. I want to show that I belong at the top. Uh, I'm coming, and I'm coming with, uh, with everything. So, no, I can't wait. I think, I think the Serrano fight will likely be in the in the first quarter of, of 2024. Last one from me, Sandy Ryan fights on this card and a really tough fight against Jesse McCaskill. How do you feel that one goes? I'm so excited for this fight. I think it's such a great fight for women's boxing. Uh, McCaskill, who's uh, obviously one of the trailblazers as well. She's come through. She's she's done just about everything in the sport. Um, and and Sandy, the, the young hungry lion. Uh, I've seen such a shift in her mindset, her mentally and physically um, how she's she's progressed so quickly through the pros and um, especially since that defeat against Farias and um, I, I see I see 
the change in era coming. I see um, the next generations coming through and, and we're going to start seeing a lot more new names out there and, and I think Sandy Ryan's going to be one of the, the first ones to come through doing it this weekend. Thanks again, Nicholson. We'll catch up. You're on the broadcast tomorrow night, so we'll, uh, we'll speak after the fights tomorrow night and get a breakdown of that. Thank you very much for your Thank time. Thank you. Thanks. Do not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut, shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 